It works! Welcome back, my dearest evilest Cossacks! Welcome back, you evil bastard on the painting of doom that is probably a Kozaki also because of the fucking hairline. Amazing stuff like your hair, dude. Also, those sabers, dude. Look like they killed someone, so it's good. Anywho, welcome back, my dearest friends. Welcome back to your so amazing, sexy Cossacks. Where I am gonna be playing one of the campaigns for the Cossack 3, finally. I was a little bit no, 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 no about doing a campaign for Cossack 3. Why? Because everybody's doing it. I mean, Cossack 3 is a very popular title now, thankfully, goddammit. And I said, you know what? Everybody's doing the goddamn campaign. So why would Demon do it? What's the point, right? I mean, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I want to finish all the Kazakh One campaign slowly but surely over many years to come, like 20, 50 years, maybe Hell's Bells. By then, I should be able to finish at least all of them. But I said, you know what? Why the hell not? Let, let, let a little bit slow. You know, I'm not gonna do it all the entire campaign immediately. Of the Kazakh Three. The campaign that we will be doing, you know, like, but this will be a Russian campaign, man. We're gonna be playing the Russian campaign. Let's go just immediately to the campaign screen. So you get a huge chunk of campaigns to choose from. Uh, for early bird adopters, the, the, go the guys, the girls, and the goats that got the game uh, when it was released. And uh, they got a bonus thingy that lasted like two weeks. <coughs> now you can't got this, got this, you can't get this, there you go, got this, you got this, but you don't get it anymore. Anyway, the point is, GG for you. Uh, that's like a three wars uh, bonus campaign, which we get in three missions, kind of separate, doesn't really follow the path of evil, but it is there. It, it, finish them all, impossible, great, great stuff, I really was kind of a... Uh, I was skeptical a little bit about them, because... Each of them are more like a skirmish match, uh, without too much story behind it, but they were very much, I must say, enjoyable. So there is that. So let's go back to the campaign again. We'll be playing as the In Distress and Cold on the Tsar's Employ, which is finally when I say Cold, because the game doesn't have winter maps at the moment of this recording. I mean, they did say they're gonna be adding winter maps, desert maps, and all that. I hope, for fuck's sake, we need winter maps. Proper winter map, GSC. Proper winter maps where I can touch the snowman's dick. Thank you very much. Now, it is difficult to overestimate the role of Alexei Mikhailovich's reign in the history of Russia. Make no mistake about his nickname, the most quiet one. For his rule was a time of great troubles, wars and reforms. It is time for another war against Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. You will be assigned to command the regiment for your efforts to protect the southern reaches from Tatar raids. The Tsar himself will lead his army west to give a battle to the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The war will be fought over the enemy land Z, so it, uh, so it is crucial to provide the troops with all necessary supplies. The Tsar assigns you to capture and protect strong points and to raid enemy territories. You will have to fight the Lithuanians and the Swedes no less if they dare to intervene. Obedience to Tsar's will is mandatory. Complete your objectives at any cost. So at any cost, we will get in. So I finished the first mission when the game got released. So I said I tried to not play any of the campaigns because I was thinking like maybe at some point if you know like just do them. Uh, but I, I like as I said I was gonna like I don't know if I should. First and foremost, again many many videos of Cossack 3 already on a goddamn YouTube. So no point of me adding a little bit more to something nobody's gonna watch at the end of a fucking day, let's be honest. So Hell's Bells, I'm just gonna do it in very slow pace for this one, because again, the the primary is gonna be for the original Kazakh 1 campaign, because that's the thing, I really wanna finish all of them. Uh, in time, of course. And this is gonna be mostly like a backlog, but still you're gonna see this while I'm still finishing the Ukrainian campaign, that is finishing uploading the entirety of the Ukrainian campaign. Okay, repelling the Tatar raid. During the time of troubles, Smolensk was annexed by Poland-Lithuania. But Moscow was not going to abandon its claim on Western Russia and potentially awaited for a reversal of fortunes. In 1632, Vladislav IV became the new king of the Commonwealth. 
Europe was entangled in 30 years war and the newly crowned monarch could expect no assistance from the West. The Tsar saw this opportunity. Although his diplomacy failed, resulting in no allies for Moscow, he declared war on Poland. Thus began the Smolensk War. Large Moscovite army has besieged Smolensk. But the siege did not proceed well. Worse yet, the Poles have goaded the Tatars to raid Moscow. Hetman Rajvil was heard saying, I'm not going to argue the theological issue of setting the heathens loose upon the Christians. But as far as political issues go, it went pretty damn well. Many had to abandon the Tsar's army and return to protect their own estates. Realizing the futility of sitting around Smolensk and receiving dire news from home, so did you. So let's begin again. We'll be playing on the easiest difficulty because Demon sucks balls of steel. But not really. We're going to be playing on impossible difficulty. Demon will suck balls of steel. In fuck's sake, I can't even finish the Aust Austrian mission number two, so fuck everything. But doesn't matter, alright? I finished the first one, that means Demon can do it. So let's begin finally this amazing, amazing achievement in real-time strategy gaming. The Cause X3 finally returned to form of the real-time strategy games. Fuck yeah. Thank you, GSC, again. Amazing game you created. My game, the best real-time strategy game now for me. So let's begin this beautiful goddamn mission. Okay, welcome back, my dearest friends. Demon is love is here as always, and of course, Loki population, which is evil and Tatars, cause they sound like some kind of food. So you have returned from Smolensk to protect your lands from the Tatars. The horde had already scattered into the several groups. One of them has occupied a town to the south. Soon they will begin raiding the villagers to loot them for valuables and capture the peasantry. You must prevent them from this happening, because if this happens, you're fucked. Make haste to reach your estate nearby. Follow the road. So let's follow the road. Let's turn off the objective, because not everybody knows the objectives. Now, I know this mission. I've survived it. I've defeated the enemy. I've raped the women, the children, and everything else. So I know it. And here, are, of course, we have our first set of formations. We have the Strelets and we have the Spearmen. Imagine which one is better. The Spear people spear you in the eye, the Strelets shoot you in the face. You choose which is the better of, well, which is the best way to die. And of course we have our uh, knight in shining armor, which is our hero at the moment. Look at the amount of detail, if you can actually see the detail on the armor. Unbelievable, as always, our own officers, you also will notice, we do not have, I do say, we do not have drummers in these formations. That means if we disrupt this formation, it's a GG, no way to return them into their previous state, which is the formation. In formation, we get plus two and plus three on defenses, and this is the most most important thing about this game, about Cossacks in general, is the ability to do the formations and do a massive damage with those set formations. Now we're gonna go onto the side, go into the up front with the spear people. We already have some strelets and spear people here. They are kind of similar, right? Yeah, because strelets and spear from the side look the same almost. Almost, but not really. Almost, but not really. And here comes the Tatars. We're gonna charge into them and our Strelets, our ally Strelets are opening fire. We have some archers, we have some uh, Turkish uh, spearmen. Let's see who is gonna win. 55, good stuff. 55, please. Do we have any formation of the squad? No. The Ottomans did uh, their massive damage and from the sides, of course, we shot the living crap out of the enemy. Here comes one archer, one very, very famous archer that will soon die. His name is un not important, but he's famous because the fact that he survived. He's running away like a little bitch, but he is not fast. He stops a little bit. The Lord must have sent you merciful master. We were about to part with our lives. All went well in your village till the Tatars came. Your loyal serfs will resume work in your fields now. Please, master, send me to Cromie. Head south, then turn west by the river. There is no better road through the steppe than the river is. 
Just don't get caught by the Tartars and order some soldiers to guard the village. Very well. Now again, as I said, I finished this. I know everything that needs to be known. So it's all good, my dearest friends. So again, our very first Russian spearman. Very different compared to other spearmen. Some trees in front of us with nice looking leaves of glory. Of course, the graphics in this game are amazing. Okay, so now we gain a bunch of people around us. Non-formation spearmen. Now we have field formation. It feels all the best. Now again, we have 66 compared to 30 whatever. We survived. They survived the battle of Gromly or whatever battle of this village was. Uh, here we have some upgrades, which are the heavy attack plus 5. We have no cav at the moment, but it's going to be useful down the line. So we have some damage structure which are called Izbas. These are the Russian housings. Uh, because this being a single player, I can actually show off a little bit up close to these, uh, uh, to the, uh, that is to the buildings, the units, and all that good stuff. Compared to the multiplayer or co-op or whatever, usually always fast, 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 too much fast, and nobody knows what's happening. You don't know, I don't know, that dude doesn't know in armor. Though his armor is cooler than your armor, that's fine. Now, of course, these are these Trelet's Barracks. So it's not just Trelet's Barracks, everybody's Barracks is. But as I said, they do look kind of a similar, to be honest, from a distance, but they are not. These are the Trelet's. They do not have armor, but this is how they look. They look amazing. They even have a little little axe. Now, there is no melee combat in this game, so their that axe is kind of useless. But that axe looks amazing. and that, That's the actual thing that they, they lie down their rifles and open fire with all their might and magic. Yes, there is magic in this game, which is called magic, so it's good. So let's see, food is amazing, 18k, nothing to really worry about. We should get the upgrades on harvesting plus 140% as to why the hell not, I say. Why the hell not? Is that enough? Well, it is enough. If I do want armor soldier defense plus 2, that would be nice, but we need enough gold, which we do not have at the moment, my dearest, evilest, evilest friends. We do not have it at the moment. Uh, here again we have a bunch of evil bastards. We do not have enough uh, trees to build anything, but do we really need anything to be built? No. We really do not need to build anything. I think at least. We need food and gold again for the upgrades, so that's great. We don't have an academy to build, so there's no point in actually uh, building anything with wood. Iron, yeah. So iron and gold, and that's all we really need to worry about. Of course, food uh, is always the most important thing. We need to keep our soldiers happy so they don't starve. And again, that's the thing about Cossacks, as I said millions of times. It's the thing that really counts ours, the food. Everybody needs food, everybody needs upkeep. So sadly, we still do not have the U key, the ability to see the soldier, the, the, the description of this all the, all the peasantry, all the soldiers and all that, and what they require, whom they require with. We do not have that ability to see anymore compared to the previous games. Now, of course, this is the storehouse, the Russian storehouse, no less. And of course, as you can see, the mail, the Russian mail uh, is uh, quite uh, different compared to your Western, Western mails. And of course, the peasantry itself is quite different. So now that we kind of still have everybody under our thumb, we have these threats that have no formation ability to build formation. Say we do, we only have an officer, no drummer, so no way to uh, get this formation back. If we did lose the officer, these formation would be uh, non-existent now. So there is that. Uh, let's move our knight. Uh, as you can see, 13 damage, uh, 9 protection against the swords, uh, 12 protection against the arrows, 8 protection against pikes. 3 against cannonball, grape shot, 255 protection, protecting his bullets, 9. Again, it's an armored unit, what do you expect him to be? He has an armored horse, not really. He has nice little boots. Again, the attention to detail on the models is always amazing. That's something I have to always say because what I always notice in people doing now massive amount of uh, Cossack 3 videos, there is really people on zoom in, they don't look at the soldiers, they don't look anything, they just play the game just for lols. Uh, I don't do that, as you all know, as you all know, I don't do it that way. You know me, I know you, everybody knows everyone. So let's move these two groups. There's nothing that will be attacking us. If there is, I'm gonna cry a little bit. So let's move this group out to this location to the right. There are a bunch of cannons to the right. Now, of course, we need to have a few men to help out to get the because cannons got stuck in the mud. And you know how when your wheels get stuck in the mud, the mud eats the wheels. The wheels say no, but you understand that the fact is the mud wins and not you. And So else bells will need a bunch of soldiers to help out to get that damnable thing out of the goddamn mud. So there's that. 
Even though there is no rain elementals in this game, and there is no weather of system of any kind, sadly, I wish there was, believe me, I wish there was some little bit of rain raindrops here and stuff like that, just for looks, nothing else, just for looks. It's not hard to have it, but it would seem it is. So this is one of the groups that you can find on the map to help you out to do the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's the group that we will be helping out because they have a cannon. That cannon is very much needed. Thank you very much. We also have the peasantry right here saying, hey, dude, I'm going to work for you if you get this cannon out of my ass. We bow to your merciful master, master. Take pity to our plight and give us assistance. Our cannon is stuck here. We are trying to pull it out, but we are too few. It's beyond our strength. If only your man could help us. Even a forest makes louder noise when its trees are many. All right, believer. Help these soldiers. Uh, is that help believers? Believers? Who is the believer? I'm not a believer if I can try. So let's believe here that we can actually try this thing out a little bit to get this, uh, pry this thing out of the goddamn mud. This is supposed to be a muddy terrain, no less, but we shall try. Thank you so much, noble prince. There are kind people in the world indeed. It is time for us to go. This cannon should be delivered to the fortress at once. We will tell the Voivod about our troubles and your help. Have no doubt. Now we could take the gun. Uh, I don't need the gun at all on this level. It's not that needy. Uh, it's more useless for us. So nobody, we're not going to really do much with it. So there's that. Uh, I think we'll be getting other guns, so there's not a problem there. We're going to be getting ability to build guns, I think. I, I can't remember now. But something will happen. Some place, somehow, some, I think. Do I need gun? Now we can tell him, okay, good luck and save Passage. No way, peasantry. We have saved this cannon. We are taking it for our own needs. But as I already chose this one, when I played, let's choose the good luck and save Passage. And we don't ga gain the, p the peasantry, we don't gain the cannon. And wherever they're going, they're going to probably die. Oh no, they're going far, far away. Maybe we're getting some kind of assistance then. Because I was expecting him to go up to this location here, which is being besieged by the Turks. And thankfully they're not, so that means we might gain some kind of assistance down the line, my dearest friends. Uh, okay, so now that we can actually build these certain units, we can first and foremost upgrade. Now, the, uh, the thing is, we don't have enough gold. So we can go for the saber attack, because we need the like, oh, that's a lot of gold. But that's cavalry attack plus five. We're gonna be gaining cavalry in this game, uh, in this level specifically. So I can go immediately for this, and I am gonna go for this, right? You are very low on gold. The mercenaries are likely to rebel. The game will tell you these things, and even, like for instance, if you don't have enough food, it's gonna stop production of units compared to the previous games, which is very nice. Which is very very nice. So, there's that, my dearest. Improvement now, cavalry attack plus 5. Isn't that amazing? It is, my dearest friends. It is. Now he has 18 attack, pike attack, even though he has a mace. This actual unit actually has a mace. So, the, uh, the knight, the Russian knight, has a mace, not a sword. Uh, at least that's in the description of the original game. How much they change? Not much. So there's that. So, now we have 182. What do we upgrade the most? I will go for... Well, uh, let's go for the attack value and the defense value of our pikemen, the spearmen, which are very important, right? Very important. These guys wear armor protecting from bullets and shrapnel. The most effective pikemen of 1700,000 million century ago. So there is that. Amazing stuff. So we're going to upgrade the defense immediately and the attack on them. That's it. That's all we can really do. Is it? Is it? Yes. Gold 100 for the attack for the for the strelets and of course that they're just too much 50 well maybe we can go for defense on strelets but they're not gonna get into fight at all so there's that also uh, so I'm not gonna worry about strelets again armored musket hits targets at the range of course understandable demon we do not say something we know high attack values do you know that though no, you did not know this okay does not fire up when enemy is up close very slow production speed oh, effectively only when combined with infantry Amazing! I mean, by that they mean you need a lot of spearmen to protect their asses. <laughs> there you go. Now, there is a way, my friends. There is a way. First and foremost, let's start building our troops. Uh, we're going to constantly build, specifically, these bad boys, the spearmen. 
as they cost quite a bit of a penny. Iron 15, which have a lot, and food 55, which we do have a lot now with the additional of the upgrade we got in here. We have additional upgrade, but we need to progress to 18th century to improve grain crop storage, harvesting plus 250%. And now they're slowly moving out. And that's about it. As I said, there is no point in breaking this formation to reform into a bigger formation of 400 spearmen. There is no point for that, my dearest friends, because of the fact that there is no point. We do not have a drummer to reform because we need a drummer and we need an officer to reform the proper squads. The formations. The formation of a formation is a formation. We need a brummer and a squadron, which is actually a squad man. There you go. Now, there is an additional point here that we shall, we shall find some friends that will help us out in this battle of attrition. Amazing. Amazing game. Again, the game looks amazing. The game is the best real-time strategy game of all time. That's a motherfucking fact, and you can fight me over it. But we can fight, and then you will die, and I will be happy. And that's all great. That's all great. Completely great. Demon support those initiative. When you want to rape, pillage, and burn people, that's good. Just go for it, son. Go for it. Now, there's a lot of Tatars here. Uh, I don't know if they're Spearmen or specifically Archer type. We shall see soon enough. But first and foremost, now do remember that this, we do not have the drummer again. We cannot have a massive sight radius in this uh, living fog of war. And because of that, it, it's kind of yeah, harder to see uh, stuff around. In the middle of the forest, you encounter a group of warriors. Apparently, they have fled from Tatar. The sight of you seems to inspire them. What are your orders, Commander? Shame on you, bastards! How could you turn on your back to the enemy? If honor still means anything to you, join me now! Now, I think this is the thing that I chose, <laughs> the first time I played. Frightened woman, that's what you are. I have no need in the likes of you for my campaign. Head to the village at once. Someone has to milk the cows. It seems you can turn them into the goddamn villager. I don't need that. So shame on you. Fight with me. Die with me. Dine with me after we kill all these Tatars. So bunch of spearmen and that's about it. Yes, just bunch of spearmen. Never a bad thing, my dearest friends. Again, non-information always is a bad thing. But if they're nicely upgraded, it's all good. Thank you very much. It's all good. Uh, so let's find these bastards because these these Tatars are protecting something very valuable. A way to move towards the enemy, that is towards our ally. Get some cows out of our ally here. That is all right here. Thank you very much. That's our ally. Get here. Get some cows. That's specifically these horses, which are mules. Are they mules or horses? They are actually mules, right? Proper mules, not horses, people. These are monkeys, not not monkeys. The mules. But there you go. Those are mules. So we, we have those, we get those, we get, and then we can have actual fucking uh, horse people. Uh, don't Cossacks. And Don Cossacks don't like shit from Tartars. So they just eat them like nobody's better. We can spend those fuckers also as much as we can spend spearmen. You can really spend a huge chunk of units on this one. Only a few Tartars have crossed the river to the side. If you take them by surprise, you can win easily. Do not miss such an opportunity. Okay, let's see what they are. Uh, just a bunch of Spachs. Uh, do not underestimate Spachs. Uh, they can do quite a bit of a damage. And a bunch of archers. Nothing really to worry about. So let's move uh, these two squadrons up front, like in your motherfucking face, oh bitch! And like that, you know, that, that, that dirty, dirty talk by demon. And of course our threats, we open fire. And we have these bastards here. Doesn't really matter if they die. If they die, I die. Yeah, open fire. Open fire, go! Excellent. So our sweats open fire from this distance. We have some archer types trying to do some damage here. Go, go, go. Excellent. Move in. Rape, pillage, and burn. Now the problem is these guys tend to run away like little bitches. So hopefully we just kill most of them before they run overly really too far away. So then I have to chase them with my knight and that's gonna be a problem. And a big problem at that. So there goes that. I love it. Like I love that we now have these circles under the units. Is believe me how easily to, to see your units first and foremost to notice them. It's so much easier. Like my God, I turned them off for like a one game, and my God, I got fucked like nobody's bitch because you just couldn't get used to it anymore. These circles are perfection. I when I saw the first leaked footage of the game the screenshot, there were like these circles under. I'm like that. I don't like that, son. I don't like that. And uh, now I love it, so it's all great. The uh, town across the river signals your to approach. Meet up with Voivod at Crummy. Okay, board the ferry. Everybody. Now, when I played, I boarded with everyone. You do not need to do this, fools. Do not do it. You only need your knight, and that's it. 
everybody else no like that's just gonna be a problem in itself because in general again uh, you gain stuff you don't gain anything other than though that stuff that those bunch of mules and that's it my friend that's all that's all there is to it so now that we're building a quite an army here we're gonna go towards the bridge the bridge needs to be guarded because nobody will be approaching that bridge Imagine that. I was actually expecting, imagine we're playing an impossible difficulty, so you would expect that an impossible difficulty would fucking cross the bridge and do real evil stuff on ya. They won't. They won't even care. They won't even care. You know, they say about Tata raids, nothing happens. For the entire goddamn thing, nothing happens, my friends. So just keep this thing here, just to have some kind of insight upon the bridge if they dare do it, you know. But they don't, so it's all good. Okay, so what I want to do now, because we have the autosave option back into the place, because we really need the autosave option, always, my friends. Believe me, you need the autosave option. Uh, it helps quite a lot. Uh, you don't have to manually do it. And, you know, hopefully the game doesn't crash or anything. I mean, this is now, whoa, down the line with the goddamn game, like two weeks after shit. So, in general, I don't expect any types of crashes. I, mean, like, I had two crashes in the goddamn game, I think. Yeah, one, no, that one and that. I had two or three crashes, or four crashes. No, two, two. I can't remember. I have, like, so small amount of crashes, it's ridiculous. Uh, I, the, the, that's how, <laughs> how much I can remember. It. it was nothing. So I'm happy with it. Again, no problem whatsoever. I mean, there are so many videos now on YouTube for Cause X3. You can look at look them up and see their opinion, the people's opinion about the game. Again, as I said, 10 out of 10, not one bad thing I can say about this game. It's perfection, it's a real-time strategy perfection, it's everything we always needed and we deserved in all these fucking many years of serving the goddamn uh, shitty games, which are the AAA titles that have nothing and that ruined completely the entire gaming market. Uh, so now we finally got the game that is perfect. And, and whoa, 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 dude, you're going a wrong, wrong mother fucking way. Thank you very much. Uh, so, again, I'm so happy that this game is getting a more love now. It's getting more love. It's getting a proper love. And it deserves it. It deserves it. Because, you know, uh, insufficient... Re Are you shitting me? No more iron. How did that happen? Oh, man, I'm blaming this on you guys. No more iron sword. No more soldiers. Hell's mother humping bells. And as you can see the actual port. This is the port for the Russians. You know, like just the attention to detail. Like, you, you you know, you don't see this in games anymore. And again, in RTS games specifically, as they're dumbing down games and games and games for the mainstream retards, fuck those mainstream retards, and of course, finally getting a proper real-time strategy game. Whence do you come, Master Boy Aren? From Smolensk, and we need your help. As always, the Tatar has besieged the towns, blocking the warriors inside while they send their detachments all over the countryside, taking people as slaves, raping the women and children, the good stuff. And so we sit inside Krame, grinding our teeth. You can't do anything to stop them. I have some gifts from the Tsar to Don Cossacks, gunpowders, muskets and cloth. But we couldn't sleep as the Tatars to deliver them. Can you do that? The, their fortress is far to the east and a bit to the south. You'll have to make your way through the Tatars, though. I can, my, I can make. I mean, I'm honestly, nobody can stop you. So I know the perfect positioning immediately. Your own a village nearby, yes? We'll gladly buy some grain from you if you wish to sell something. Come and visit us again. And that's exactly what we shall be doing. And we gain an ability to sell stuff, my, my friends. Now we can get all the iron, all the women, all the children we'll never need. Now what happened when I played the first time? These fuckers died. Uh, uh, when I crossed the river <laughs> with them in the, in the transport. I dropped the transport, right, open the gates, and they drop across, and they all start dying in the goddamn water. I'm like, what the fuck is happening here, game? What the hell is happening? Why is my, why are my people dying? Why are my mules dying? Oh, they just gave me one time offer to do that? Go fuck yourself! Like, oh, god damn it. Uh, well, y y I had only one click. Ah, oh, you f doesn't matter. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? I mean, nothing. Oh, now you give me again. You douchebag. You 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 treating me like a dog. Okay, let's do this again. It it seems there's like um, 
the, 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 the thing and then you can do it again and you know like uh, oh you motherfucker give me the jibba what the fuck douchebag I call it the douchebagginess uh, now we can actually not even like we can go towards the bridge with this like here and drop our mule where we need to drop them uh, okay they'll give us a little bit like a few seconds to sell stuff fuck you game fuck you in the ass give me back my mule thingy market douchebagginess right there my friend you can see the douchebagginess okay so I guess I'll have to wait a little bit maybe maybe give me the goddamn thing give it give it the red love give it the red love unless I have to have a unit there to like occupy it that could be it actually that could be it I need to have one unit closed that's why they uh, we lost the contact hmm interesting interesting let me do that I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try it oh yeah one spirit is almost dead we can try that out because you see we do not have a belt to utilize the market so it see we need a unit there to occupy the market so to speak to have it under our control and when we do have it under our control it's all good it's all great it's all sexy uh, and that's all, that's all we need to do. Now, I don't think we need our hero to go with us in this battle situation because we don't need him to be there. He was not going to be the one needed to start the conversation. Now, it could be that they, we need them. We need him, but we're going to keep him, I guess, in battle. But for now, we are A-OK, -okay, I guess. So let's try this again. If nothing happens, I'm just going to blame this on you people. I'm just going to blame this on you. Uh, let's see. Yep, not no market. Okay, so we're gonna go back again. I'm gonna give them a little bit of love and see if they, if I was right. If I was right. If I wasn't right, it's okay. If I was right, it's okay also. So it's okay. In general, it's okay. So let's drop again this beautiful, beautiful ship, the ferry. It's truly a ferry. So <laughs> let's drop and see what we can do here. Uh, uh, did you find a perfect place? Maybe drop the people. Thank you. Uh, let's drop you only. So only Spearman will now be approaching the market. And let's see if I was right. If I was wrong, I blame this on you guys and it's okay. Then you can say GG Demon, bye bye. We don't want to watch your videos anymore, you douchebag. But I'm going to say fuck you. It was your fault that I couldn't sell fish. Uh, no. 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 It was in the game he's telling us no. Oh, we have to have our hero maybe. Yes, our hero needs to be there specifically to do all this. Hero, you stay. Okay, so I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff for gold. Not really. For iron. Let's get plus 1,000. 150 iron for 1,000 food. That's a fair exchange. Very, very fair indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. No. Okay, go food is going up. Oh, I was like, oh no, I saw too much. Uh, you were you were doing a prob problematic thing. Now the only way to get in this uh, uh, village, this town of Cromwell, uh, is to actually kill all the bastards around. And there are too many bastards, my friend. There are just too many bastards. You just can't handle the heat. And because of that, uh, we're just gonna. Uh, because of that, we're just going to deal with the other stuff. We need to get over here and gain the Don Cossacks. Don Cossacks, as you can see how beautiful uh, they look first and foremost. We can see our stables, all beautiful looking as always. Everything is made out of wood and I like that. I like it that way. Of course, we have Starlets here. And I, I mean just oh, the, mental, the, 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 the attention to detail, the attention to detail, Mother Humper. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. To it. Anyway, guys, I wish you very, the very, very mother humping best. Next time, my evil Kazaki, we shall be playing more. I'm gonna just, you know, do it parts by parts, by part, 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 two, three, fifteen parts, and that's all good for one mission, of course. Why not? All best. Day.